What's up internet? My name is Kayla. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. So far I just have a kind of grungier or black eye look going on with some glitter. But I am doing a unintentional project pan because these are products I just want to use up but I don't want to actually fully call this a project pan a so I don't have to do the updates and two because I feel like if I actually call it a full project pan then I won't actually do this so I kind of have been working on this for a month already but obviously I haven't been filming videos so I'm gonna complete the rest of my makeup using those unintentional project pan items I do want to start off by saying that Two of the products that are in this unintentional project pan, I've already used on my face today. Um, so the first is the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. There is nothing wrong with this brow pencil other than I just don't like it. Also, you can't tell because of how dark it is behind me, but I did dye my hair black, so this isn't a good um, brow color for me anymore. So. I have a bit of a ways to go fully on this, but I am still going to kind of get to working on this. Let me fill it up all the way. Okay, so here is how much I have left. Um, so I am getting all the way done, but I want to give extra special attention to it just to make sure it is fully dead. And then you kind of saw my next uh, product in this project which is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original shade. This was actually a 500 point perk at Sephora. Um, it is a full size, so I snatched it right up. Super happy about that. Um, but I have to say, I just don't care for it. I think it does a good job at keeping my eyeshadow looking good and really easy to apply on top of it, even though I don't set my eyes um, with it, which is fantastic. But I realized I just like my Ulta eye primer more and I just want to use this um, just to have it gone. But I do, en I, I enjoy the results out of it. I just miss using my Ulta eye primer so that's why I want this guy gone. The next thing I've already used my face because I wanted to make sure the primer and everything sit in is the Smashbox Photo Finish Centering Citrus Primer Water. Um, I don't think this smells very much like citrus. Um, and a month ago I did mark it so that was my project there and I um, that was my line a month ago and the bubbles make it look like there's more product in here than it is. I actually have a backup of this because it was on clearance so I bought it. And I don't fully know why, <laughs> honestly. Um, but I have this, so I just kind of want to knock out this one so I can open up the second one and just slowly get the primer waters out of my collection. I think they're nice. They don't make my makeup last super well, but they do add a bit of hydration either before or after applying my makeup. So I already sprayed that on my face and I'll probably do that at the end. But overall, it's just... It's not something I need in my life. That's that. <laughs> um, the next part of my project pan that I'll actually start applying my makeup is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade 150. Um, it is officially the Pro Filter Foundation. And yeah, because it's so early, um, I apologize for the lighting, but <laughs> there's nothing I can really do about it right now because I don't have a ring light. And even if I did, I probably wouldn't set it up. But the reason why this is in my mirrors right here so mirror right here <laughs> but the reason why this is in my um working on down is because i just i don't know um i think i just kind of chose this foundation honestly to be the one in here because i did want to originally do a full face project pan and then i decided against it i was like that's a lot that's too much so i am skipping all of that I'm just doing a few core things. Um, this is actually my first time ever filming a video before work, so this is just a test run to see how long this goes. And of course, I did choose to do a applying makeup tutorial first. The reason why I wanted um, to choose the Fenty one specifically is that I bought it with a gift card last March, so it is not the oldest foundation in my collection, but it's one of the oldest and so I kind of want and it's you know it's not even a full year old um but I just kind of want to use it up it is a nice foundation for me um especially when I layer moisturizing um primers underneath which is what I do a lot because of the winter 
but it does look really nice on my skin and I do enjoy it. But the issue I face with it is, would I repurchase a $40 foundation? And the answer is probably no. So since I have it, I want to use it and I want to enjoy it and then move on to my other drugstore foundations. So, um, and it, I do go through it rather quickly, but you can't tell, but I can, that I am about halfway through this foundation at this point. It is quite a liquidy foundation, um, and it takes me four pumps to use to cover my face, and that's not really mm, three to four pumps. It's more so really because it's just so liquidy, um, and it's not thick. If it was a thicker foundation, I probably wouldn't need to use as much. Because the next two items are not part of my uh, head gel project pan, I'm just going to take care of them real quick off camera, and then actually set my face real quick. Um, but if you are curious, I want to be using the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. This is the best concealer with the shittiest shade range. So, um, but I love it. So I have this in the shade Porcelain. I'm going to be setting my eyes with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I love this for under the eyes. And then I'm going to take use the Beauty Bakery Flower um, Powder to set the rest of my face. And So a month ago... That's kind of the line of where I marked it. And I've made a big deal of progress. You can't really see. Also, this looks super crooked. But I chose the BJ Bakery powder is because I bought it for setting my under eyes. And I don't like it for setting my under eyes. So I'm mostly just going to use it to set the rest of my face. I love how it sets the rest of my face. It's fantastic. But I don't want to use a loose powder for that reason because I go through it very quickly. So again, I'm going to enjoy it while I can, while I have it, but it won't be a repurchase for me because I only like got loose setting powders underneath my eyes. It's all set. Um, I did want to mention my next unintentional project pan items, which is the Jouer uh, Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. I mentioned this, or I will be mentioning it, this in a recent favorite videos. I love this guy. And then another lip balm. Well, this is the Bite Aquavi Lip Mask and the Maple tastes like candy, tastes like sweet maple syrupy candy. I love it. I love this so much. Um, but they're just, this is a mini, um, kind of a squeezy. It's not very malleable right now, but it's and where it is right now um but that's kind of the progress on this and then i have no idea how to measure the progress on this but i know it's kind of getting maybe to the halfway point um this just goes through quickly i know if i use this every day um also this lip balm is like 16 bucks so i'm like for me to, for this lip balm to go by so quickly for 16 bucks i'm like Ugh. Have you noticed that a lot of my unintentional project pan items are because they're expensive and I don't want to repurchase them for that reason? Yeah. And so I'm going to bronze my face real quick um, on camera because I need to get going. But the reason why, I'm, I'm not going to be doing updates for this project pan. Um, you're just going to see these products and um, So I'm not doing updates for this um, project pan just because I straight up don't want to. Um, you will see these products in empties videos. I like doing empty videos a lot more than progress videos. I love watching progress videos for project pants. I just hate filming them. So, um, you're just gonna see the products in empties videos. And I love filming empties videos so much more. Okay, so I just applied some blush using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Pearl Asset Pink. This blush is three bucks and it's probably my favorite blush. So <laughs> there's that. The next product in here, I feel like I'm just adding products. Products. I feel like I'm adding products into this project pan as I go. But um, we're gonna add the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I just love using this as a blush topper. And I use it almost every day as a blush topper, unless I'm using specifically a shimmering blush. So, that's what we're doing here today. So I think the Wet n Wild um, highlighting powder is the last part of my unintentional project pan. So I'm just going to finish up my makeup and I will be right back to kind of wrap things up in this video. So here is the completed look. I will probably use do a red or a black lipstick later on today, but for now I'm just going to go with the kind of glossy rose lip balm from Jouer. But 
that completes this video guys thank you so much for watching and checking out my unintentional project pan i hope to show these off in empties videos i think for the things the hip pan on i don't know if i'll do a separate i hit pan on video or just kind of include them in empties just kind of as a side bonus thing um we'll see how that goes but just thank you so much for being here please subscribe to my channel and i would love to see you in my next video uh just a quick channel heads up i'm not gonna be filming five days a week i can't do it i can't uh, my goal is hopefully two days two times a week i think i just need to limit myself to that so i don't get overwhelmed and stressed out and also so I can put the work and quality I really want to put into my video. So uh, this early get ready with me kind of vibe video plus <coughs> Kitty who likes to misbehave. <coughs> he moves. He moves. He's been a brat in case you can't hear him. Um, hence the meowing. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to see you on my next video. And as always guys, <coughs> have joy. Have joy, have joy.